Hi everyone, Jaron here from Microsurvey, and I want to show you another new feature in InCAD and Embedded CAD 2022. Uh, this one is the attribute labels. Um, so what I have here is a, a GIS file imported of trees. Uh, if I double click on those, I'm going to be able to review the attributes on them. Um, and the first thing I want to do from this is turn them into uh, Microsurvey smart points. So if I type in auto P uh, or go to auto add points to object, we'll add them. Uh, the file name or the GIS layer name for this file is trees. So that's what I want to set my description as. They need to match in order for this to work. And those points are going to be added to the microsurvey database with the uh, GIS attributes intact. All right, now if I double click on one of those, now I have it in the microserver database and I can review the attributes here. Now what I wanna do is I'm going to go to the uh, MS Traverse tab and click on Automap Library. And I'm going to add a new Automap entry called Trees, matching the GIS layer name or the file name. I'm going to change the plotted description so that it changes that from trees to tree. And I'm going to click on attribute labels. Now what this does is it accesses a new type of uh, attribute or auto map file uh, where we can define attribute labels for each of the attributes uh, contained within that attribute table. I'm going to click the plus button here. And now that we have matched all that up, we can select uh, any of these attributes here. I'm going to maybe pick a uh, tree ID. So let's put an ID for it here. Uh, we can set a prefix, a suffix, a location, a rotation, layer, color, and uh, a text style for that. If I click the plus button again, it's going to stack them underneath the uh, existing point description. So maybe for this one, I want to put in a drip line. And we'll put in a prefix and a suffix so it shows the drip line, the value, and then an M for meters. And maybe one last one, let's put in the species. We'll call it type. And just for fun, let's change the color here. Uh, we can uh, save this to a new file, or we can open an existing file. We'll click Save. I'm going to click OK. Um, so there's two things that I need to do to uh, get this to update both the point description that I changed to tree rather than trees, and then to update the attributes. So I'm going to click on Process Attributes, and what that's going to do is draw all of those uh, those descriptors that I just defined underneath the point description and then I'm going to click process all. And there we go. Now we have our additional descriptors shown underneath uh, based on those attribute values and that trees description has been updated to say tree. Thank you for your interest in InCAD and Embedded CAD 2022, and thanks for watching.